Hey babies, welcome back to my channel and good morning. It is, what day is it? It is Wednesday, August 3rd and I feel like this year is passing by so freaking quickly. It's insane. Um, anyways, it is 7.27 in the morning and I'm gonna have my morning coffee and, and I really hate this TV. I don't know. Not ready. I don't know why. Será por la Hacienda Boulevard. Si usted viaja por la 60 este, qué maravilla. Mire. So this is normally the time that I just sit on my couch and I kind of like wait to wake up a little bit. I drink my morning coffee, and then at eight is when I go ahead and start to study. So I'm gonna take you on a day with me on how my day looks like realistically. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I do. Um, I do take care of my nephew, so he's gonna be coming a little bit later around eat something. Um, but right now I'm just gonna chill on my couch, we're gonna watch the news, um, and just get ready for the day and wake up with, obviously, Okay guys, so Chris left and it's now 9.15 and I am just going to start to study. I am already a minute and 24 seconds in. My birds are like chirping away. Ignore them. Anyways, so I want to show you guys what I normally do for the science section. I still have my binder. I still have my binder here. Um, and this is literally just for my own personal reference. Um, these people have already taken the T's exam themselves and they've passed it. So, I pretty, like I said, you guys can watch my whole video on, you know, the T's exam and what I have experienced thus far prior to taking the exam. I actually already applied to a nursing school yesterday or actually two days ago and they're going to be giving me my response in six to eight weeks so by the time it's mid-September so <sighs> it's kind of scary. Anyways so I have everything in here and this is what it looks like and it's literally pages on pages on like stuff that you want to remember like metaphase, anaphase, thymine and guanine and whatever. Um, so um, also everything about plant cells, cellular re reproduction, um, some stuff on chemistry which I'm definitely going to be going over because I have no idea what to study for the chemistry section which is really nice. Um, and in one of my videos I actually talked all about this binder and how I created it and where I got my notes from. So go check out that video if you guys want to get more information on my binder and what I have in it. Um, so, what I, right now what I'm doing is I'm actually using Science with Suzanne. She is super popular in the ATIT's prep world. A lot of people know her. She's amazing and I have been using her website literally every single day uh, because she has free videos, she has free printouts, and she explains everything so freaking well. The videos are not 30 minutes, an hour long. They're like, the most that her videos are, are at least 25 minutes, which is not bad at all. And she gives you free printables um, to everything that she is discussing now. If it's like from older videos, I don't think during that time she was actually making the printables, but I love her. She's literally amazing. Amazing. So, this is all I have left to do for like the bi uh the basic like biology, um scientific reasoning, um cellular reproduction, genetic parity, stuff like that. This is all I have left. And uh then I'm going to have to move on to chemistry to the chemistry section section. And I study about four to five max, I think like eight hours a day, um, which seems like a lot and it, not a lot of people are fortunate enough to not work and just solely focus on studying. Thankfully, like I'm blessed with a great family who support me 100% in my career and in my choices that I'm gonna be making. Um, so I'm able to um, not go to work. 
but I will recommend you guys if you guys are currently working at least minimum study four hours a day and give yourself about three months to study if you're not able to do it every single day for long durations of time um, because it is a lot of things that you have to re memorize for me the math section took me about a month and a half to study and then I started studying the science portion which I'm I believe I'm on week three of studying for the science I did want to mention that the only reason why it took me about a month and a half to study the math section was because I was working during that time and I would work from like 8 to 5.30 um, or uh, 9, I mean 9 to 5.30 and then I worked from 8 to 5. So um, that's the only reason why it took me about a month and a half. Um, but if you really focus and study for long durations of time every day, you can honestly do it in two months or less depending on how uh, strict you are in yourself which is why like the science section is taking me about three weeks versus a whole month and a half for like the science of the math section so just keep that in mind just you know work at your own pace see how fast you can learn things and memorize them but definitely give yourself enough time to study that way you make sure that you guys pass the first time and don't have to retake it and like waste your time again studying so just keep that in mind. And I didn't just, I just started getting really into studying about last week. Um, so the first week I was just kind of trying to figure out where I want to be and like how am I supposed to study because um, Nurse Hub, unfortunately, they have just like practice questions. They don't even have videos to teach you on the things that you need to learn. Whereas, again, Science with Suzanne, she teaches you everything you need to know on like microbiology anatomy physiology and i believe uh, let me see i'll show you her website yeah microbiology general biology anatomy and physiology that's all she teaches you she has a whole like i get a whole website okay guys so it is a little bit later it is 10 31 i think it's like an hour later um I am done doing the carbo. I actually didn't go over the carbohydrates because I was looking at other study guides and honestly it wasn't something that I needed to learn so I just kind of skipped over it. Um, so I skipped over carbohydrates, lipids, and transport across cell membranes because I kind of, um, some of the other ones kind of went over that already. Um, so right now I'm on the urinary system, nervous system, the integumentary system, and the muscular but the one that I'm working on is the urinary and I wanted to show you guys what my little setup looks like here so um, what I basically do is I am on let me zoom you guys in a little bit so what I do is um, I look up whatever I need to look up so this is the urinary system she also has her website which I told you guys I was going to show you so if you click on home this is literally everything that she has and she even gives you like this little prep summaries um, some things are missing um, but I already showed you guys what um, and then she has like a list of all the things she has printables uh, quizlet questions practice questions and stuff like that so you guys make sure you know the material but right now like I said I'm working on this one I'm going to take a little bit of a snack this is a snack I'm going to eat right now um, and then I'm going uh, I want to finish the rest of these today and then I'm going to do a little bit of research to see what else I am missing I'll probably learn about the joints and the bones and all that stuff um here soon so yeah I'm finally seeing the end of the tunnel and I'm so excited um, I'm gonna try to get everything done because Chris has his day off tomorrow so I'm gonna see if I can finish everything that I need to know today that way tomorrow I literally have all day free and I can take a little bit of a men mental break because I've been going since Monday today is Wednesday and I've been studying for eight hours a day which is really really you know straining I actually had to go walk with my mom yesterday because I felt like I was going insane 
Um, so tomorrow's gonna be like a little break day and then I'm gonna pick up back up on Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday is gonna be my uh, review day where I review everything that I learned throughout the week. That way I make sure that I, my mind is staying fresh on the content that I learned previously and is not, you know, losing any information that I already learned. Anyways, my nephew, say hi. Hello. Okay guys, so it is 11 o'clock, I'm about to be. Um, my nephew got hungry, so I just did decided to stop now and make food um he wants mac and cheese so that's what i'm gonna make him what's all that good stuff Rusted, so I think I'm just gonna I don't know what that white stuff is I've never seen it so I think I'm just gonna make him it over the pan because I have some cute ones um, I'm gonna make chiles rellenos for my parents and me um, in the meantime I cook for Ian um, and then I'm gonna watch um, some the real i love watching the real on youtube while i'm making food but i want to make i want to see how you make chili rellenos like a, a good recipe um so if i find one i'll show you guys and yeah i should probably take a her makeup because it's really coming off but oh my god i took a nap which is why my makeup is ruined. Um, right now I'm gonna take this Liquid IV Energy Multiplier. I'm gonna put half of it inside my cup. Um, a cup of water. I'm like, I have a cup of water, you guys. <laughs> um, the only reason why I'm gonna put half is because, for those who don't know, I, I struggle with anxiety. And it's a real thing. And if I put too much caffeine in my body, I give myself anxiety and I just don't want for that to happen. Okay, so I'm gonna put again half. I'm not gonna put all of it. I think I'm gonna stop like right here. There we go. Yeah. And then I can save it. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna know. Then I can save the rest for another ten. So apparently one full stick is 40 calories. So I guess this is 20. And it tastes really good. It tastes like cucumber water, that's what it tastes like. Okay, so right now I'm gonna FaceTime my friend. We are gonna study together. Um, it's always a good idea to get somebody to study with because when I tell you it you get so lazy to study and you set yourself back so I took a very 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 long break today and it went on a little longer than I anticipated but honestly if I force myself I'm not gonna remember anything that I learn and that's something that I know about myself so I give myself a long break and I'm like okay at this time I'm gonna start back up again so it's six, and like I said, I'm gonna start back up at six. I'm gonna finish the nervous system, the integumentary system, muscular, skeletal, and macromolecules, which I did not know I had to learn, but we are. And then like I said, on Sunday, I'm gonna go ahead and review everything again, and once I'm done doing all this, I'm gonna do a little bit of research of the stuff that I need to study for um, the chemi chemistry section, so. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my friend to FaceTime me and then I'm going to get started. But I think I'm going to end up ending the video here because there's really nothing else I have left to show you guys. Or maybe I'll show you guys once I'm done. So, I'll see you guys a little bit later once I am done. Okay, so I'm just kidding guys. I didn't end up finishing the vlog. I actually ended up leaving it there. I studied for about two more hours with my friend from 6 all the way till 8 p.m. 
um, and I actually had to add a lot more to the list, um, which is basically all skeletal muscular system. Um, she has like a lot of videos on that and I want to make sure that I watch all of them. So it, my list did get a little bit longer, probably like 10 more videos to watch, but I'm still going to take my break today and then tomorrow I'm going to be ready to pick it back up and finish on Friday strong and kind of, if I can, just start review early, which is um, Saturday and continue my review for Sunday and then prepare for chemistry that same day. So it's just my little plan. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, bye peace.